Welcome to Exhibit View 5.0, a first look. Upon launching Exhibit View, you will see our case project wizard. This is your home screen. This is where you will create new cases, browse for a case, and see a listing of all the cases you've been working on. Let's go ahead and open up the new sample case. We'll begin with a tour of the Exhibit View user interface or software screens. The center area is our presentation area. The presentation area allows you to present exhibits in the full screen mode or side by side for added flexibility. The area on the left is your exhibit library. Starting at the top, we have a tab for slideshows, then documents, images, audiovisual, and saved web pages. The buttons along the top of the presentation area include popular annotation tools and screen presentation control. The first set of tools is called markup. These tools offer various annotations that may be used live during a presentation, including call-out features, highlighting, adding text, line tools, several different shapes, and an eraser. The next small set is called Undo Redo, and this does exactly what it says. The next area is Screen Control. This is where you can clear the screen, make either side of the screen bigger, and hide one side of the left or right screen. The next icon is called Slideshow. When you begin a slideshow full screen, you can click this button to hide everything except your slide. This will allow people familiar with PowerPoint to project an Exhibit View slideshow in the same manner. The next icon is for printing. And the final icon is called Projector. The projector icon is used to publish information to your jury or captive audience. Most of the icons offer keyboard shortcuts. Simply hover your mouse over any of these icons to reveal. Along the bottom of the presentation area, you'll see additional tabs for SlideMaker, WebViewer, and Sync Pro. We will explore these in some detail later. At the very top of the Exhibit Library, you'll see a folder called My Favorite. Next to this, you'll see a folder icon with a plus sign and a drop-down arrow for folder selection. This is where you will create Witness Folders or Issues Folders, allowing you to copy exhibits from your main library. One of the nice features about our folder system is that you can combine exhibit types in subfolders. Exhibit View allows you to move exhibits from the library on the left into the presentation area in several ways. First, you can single click on any thumbnail, and this will move the exhibit instantly into the center of the presentation area. You can also drag and drop any exhibit from the library into the presentation area center, left, or right side. If you look at the very bottom of the Exhibit Library, you'll see a box called Find. If you know the name of an exhibit, you can type that into this box to locate and then hit your Enter key to move the exhibit into the center of the presentation screen. Right-click on any thumbnail in the Exhibit Library and expose additional tools for previewing, renaming, printing, deleting, or selecting. Let's go ahead and put a document into the center of the Exhibit View presentation screen. Next, I will use our call-out feature to enlarge a portion of this document. Next, I can add highlighting, shapes, or lines to direct jurors' attention to key facts. If at any time I'm unhappy with one of my marks, I can simply use the Eraser tool or the Undo feature. Let's go ahead and drag a document to the left screen and an image to the right screen. Now that I have two exhibits side by side, I can still manipulate these with all of the annotation tools. If I would like to enlarge one side of the screen, I can use the screen tool called Wide. While preparing in advance for a presentation, and if I don't want to perform these tasks live, I can do this in the comfort of my office and simply hit the snap icon in the screen controls. This will put a copy into the images folder for use later. 
This is a great way to prepare callouts and other demonstrative exhibits to be used in a slideshow. Next, let's put an audiovisual clip into the presentation area. As soon as the audiovisual clip is moved into the presentation area, it will begin to play. If you hover your mouse down below the bottom of the presentation area, you will expose our audiovisual controller. Here, you can create bookmarks for the audio or visual clip. Bookmarks for audiovisual clips are important because if you create two or more bookmarks on a clip and use this in a slide later, you have the option to play that clip only between the bookmarks. This is a very simplistic form and an easy way to edit audio video content in your presentations. Next, let's take a look at Web Viewer. We've integrated a Web Viewer to make it incredibly simple to save clean web content to a case. Simply type in the browser URL, the name of a website, and after it's finished loading, you'll see two options for saving. One icon says PDF, and the other has a camera icon. The PDF icon will be used most often and will save a high-quality cropped PDF of the web page. The camera icon will take a screenshot of the web page. You would typically use the snapshot button to save Facebook pages. Next, let's take a look at SlideMaker. This is an exciting and vastly improved area of exhibit view. SlideMaker allows you to create slideshows for openings, closings, mediations, or hearings. Let's take a tour of the SlideMaker interface. Along the top, you'll see an area called Slides. This is where you can add a new slide, save your work, add background colors or images, access your saved templates, test your slideshow, and print a hard copy of your slideshow. The next area is called Markup. This area includes similar annotation tools that you might use live. The next area is called Shapes, and we have integrated a number of useful shapes that you can use for creating effective slide content. The next area is for adding text. Simply click on the text icon, Drag an area onto the slide and you can enter text. The following area is called Undo Redo and this function is as you would expect. Let's go ahead and create a new slideshow and we will call this Opening. Let's go ahead and give it a blue background. Next, we can use any of the exhibits in the library on the left to populate a slide. I'm going to drag a document and an image onto this slide. I can click on the document and enlarge it by dragging from any corner. If this is a multi-page PDF document and I wish to display a page other than the first page, I can double-click on the document to open Document Properties. Here, I can choose a page other than the page 1 and click OK. Further, SlideMaker allows us to crop PDF documents. Let's go ahead and add another slide. I'm going to put an audiovisual clip onto this slide. I have added some bookmarks previously while previewing in the presentation area. Resize it and double click on it to open the audiovisual properties. Here, I can select a starting bookmark and an ending bookmark. Any slide that you create can be saved as a template to be reused. If you right click on any slide thumbnail, you'll see that you have the ability to copy it and paste it before or after any other slide. You'll also have the ability to simply click, hold, and drag your slides up and down to reorder them. Take some time to play with and make some slides and you'll get the hang of it. The next area is called Sync Pro. In Sync Pro, we can load synchronized video depositions for playback. Exhibit View supports the DVT and MDB video sync depositions. You can also use our Transcript Pro software to create your own synchronized videos, load them into Exhibit View, and play back any portion thereof. There are some limited tools for creating pre-designated bookmarks, including the ability to select any area of the transcript and clicking Play Selected.
or you can simply locate any page in line, double click to begin playback. If you create a series of bookmarks, you can also play all of the bookmarks back to back. Note there is also a print icon allowing you to print a listing of all bookmark segments that you've created. Sync Pro is an easy playback tool for synchronized video depositions. This concludes our look at Exhibit View 5.0. Please note under the Help menu you can find our Exhibit View product guide. Our guide is easy to read and a great way to understand what file formats Exhibit View supports and to refresh your understanding of the various functions within Exhibit View. For more information on this product or any other, please contact Exhibit View through email or phone. Thank you for viewing our video.